Hi there. Don't you also want to sometimes just switch places, like go to a nice beach or visit the pyramids of Gizeh, or maybe just have a coffee in the beautiful city of Paris? Well, the reality looks different. We as humans can't do this, but with the latest version of Reptive.io and the new emulation command, we can do this in the browser. Let's check it out. All right, in this little example, we are using the Google Maps application, and we're going to change our geolocation to port ourselves to the pyramids of Gizeh using the new emulate command. For that, we have a little task prepared here, and it contains out of two it blocks. In the first it block, we want to go on the Google Maps app and click on the little show my location button, and then we want to verify through the URL whether this change in the geolocation has been applied. So the first step is we open Google Maps by using the browser URL command, and we're opening google.com slash maps. The next step is that we're clicking on this button that locates the user based on the geolocation. For that, we find an element that is called app view card strip. And within, we have a button that we can locate through the accessibility label, which is labeled as your location. So once we click on it, we now expect that the browser has an URL that contains the new coordinates. And these new coordinates will be at 29.97.31.13 and 16z. Now, in order to use the new emulate command, we have to have BiDi enabled for our session. In order to enable BiDi, all we need to do is within our capabilities, we set the WebSocket URL flag to true. This tells the browser driver that the session should be run with WebDriver BiDi enabled. Now, next step is to call the emulate command. The emulate command is part of the browser API, and you can just call browser.emulate. And it takes a certain scope as the first variable. You have a color scheme that you can emulate, the geolocation, the online behavior, or the user agent. For this test, we are using the geolocation, and it wants to have certain geolocation coordinates to be assigned to it. And we can use the copilot to fulfill that for us. Uh, so we set ourselves to 29.97.31.13, and the accuracy should be 100. This is the geo coordinates for the pyramids of Gizeh. If that is correct, we should now land exactly there. Let's add a little pause at the end so we can actually verify with our own eyes the beautiful pyramids that we see there. So let's run this example. And we will see that the browser will spin up and it will open Google Maps and it will now press the little button on the bottom right and we see now we are in the pyramid next to the pyramids of Gizeh. The emulate command also provides other nice functionalities. Let's go through it. Again, I mentioned before, you can also update the color scheme of the website that you're visiting. So you can use color scheme light or color scheme dark, uh, depending on what you want to test. Next is you can set a custom user agent based on your preferences. If your application uses the user agent string from the navigator object, you can emulate it through that. And last but not least, there's an online interface that is also exposed through the navigator. And you can set this to true or false. If your application is using it, you can emulate this too. But note, this may does not make the browser actually go offline if you set it to false. It will just modify the web API behind it. If you actually want to make your browser go offline, you can use the latest introduced throttle network interface. You can say that you should want to go offline using the solo network command. And that's it. These are all the new emulation commands that are now at your disposal in the latest version of WebDriver.io. Give it a try and let us know what you think. We're planning to add a bunch of more emulation capabilities to the WebDriver.io API, uh, thanks to all the capabilities and features that we get through the WebDriver Byte protocol. That's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.